Hello. I've missed you. Hello and Happy New Year. I hope all of you had a fantastic holiday season. I hope that you had the opportunity to spend time with family and friends. I know I did. Um, I want to take a moment to thank all of you who um, were patient with me during the month of December. Uh, I know I was gone for quite some time and I might be a little rusty, uh, so please excuse any, you know, mess ups that might come throughout this video. But I wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for sticking around and leaving such wonderful comments. Yes, I'm feeling much better. Um, more energy. I'm excited for the new year, excited for new videos, and excited to talk with all of you again. As a thank you, I wanted to start the year off with a styling video. So as you may have guessed from the title, this is a Pinterest inspired video, um, winter edition. I went ahead and picked out three outfits that caught my attention. Um, I wanted to find a few things to style a little bit differently and uh, I really like the, um, the pictures that I chose and I think that I can put together a few things that uh, I really enjoy wearing for the rest of the winter. So if that is something you guys are interested in seeing, let's get started. All right, so we are starting with this outfit right here. Um, it caught my eye because I want to find ways of getting a little more use out of the pieces in my closet, as I assume we all do. So this red button up is uh, made of cotton. I thrifted it last year and I wanted to see if I could winterize it just a bit. So in this picture, colors aren't exact. I believe she's wearing a mock neck instead of a turtleneck. Um, she has the dark denim. Remember when we're doing Pinterest inspired outfits, we are not looking to get it correct piece by piece. We're simply looking for ways that we can maybe style things a little differently, which is exactly what I did here. Because as I said, this button up is cotton, but I have put underneath it a cashmere turtleneck. Uh, this is from Quince. Uh, it's one of my favorite go-to sweaters. It's very comfy. I also have a, a camisole underneath just for an extra added layer. Um, we have had a very mild winter comparatively. And so this right here to just throw over maybe my trench coat would probably be enough to keep me warm if I didn't plan on staying out after the sun goes down. But anyway, we have the red topper. I think hers is a corduroy. Maybe it looks like it's a thicker, more winter appropriate um, material. But that's why I've added the cashmere underneath. It's kind of a switcheroo. Um, we usually put the layers uh, underneath. You usually have the button ups underneath the fuzzy merino or cashmere sweaters. So I thought that was a fun way of um, coming up with a new outfit uh, formula or uh, putting my outfits together a little bit differently. Uh, as I said, she does also have some dark wash denim. These are my Levi's 501s. As usual, everything that I'm wearing will be listed in the description box. Most of my things are thrifted, so I can't really link them. But I've got my 501s, and then I have this black leather belt that I also thrifted. I can't see her shoes, so I think it could be a loafer moment. So I went ahead and just kept on some black fuzzy socks and then added a pair of 
black loafers. Uh, I believe I got these at Famous Footwear. Um, what I also liked is that she added a watch. So I have my black watch here from Movement. And she went with a light neutral bag, which it would have been so much easier to just grab for a black bag and, you know, be on your way. But that is expected. You have black shoes, a black belt. You kind of go with the, I guess, natural choice. But no, she uh, styled it with a light neutral. And so I went ahead and grabbed my coach purse that I got last year. And I am a fan. I like the way it looks. Um, I'm not usually a sock and loafer kind of girl. I usually wear my loafers during the summer without socks and I prefer to go with booties, but I'm not mad at this outfit. I'm very toasty, uh, so the cashmere sweater is doing its job for sure. Um, oh, and I also just threw on a uh, pair of silver hoops. Just keep it simple. Keep it um, low-key, streamlined. Uh, that's my... <laughs> That's my vibe for this year when it comes to styling and getting dressed. But this is outfit number one. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I like it. I am definitely going to uh, kind of file this one away to reach for next winter. So we're going to head on to outfit number two. All right. So outfit number two is this one right here. And right off the bat... What caught my attention with this outfit, other than the fact that I have similar pieces, is that they broke the rule of mixing black and brown accessories. As I said with the last one, or the last outfit, um, we have this tendency to think, at least I do, if I'm wearing black shoes, I have to wear a black belt and I have to have a black bag. But no, that's not the case. Mixing it up a little bit, just like with mixing your metals or pattern clashing, whatever the case may be, it's intentional. You mean to do it. So people kind of stop and go, huh, that's an interesting styling choice. And I like that that is uh, what happened in this photo. Um, as I said, I have similar pieces. Again, I just kept my Levi's 501s. Uh, on for this one as well as the black belt and I just realized that I have these very obnoxious creases in my jeans please ignore those and if you didn't notice them I apologize for bringing them to your attention um, I do not own a teddy textured vest so I went ahead and put on this thrifted men's blazer with this kind of uh, checkered houndstooth print um, and paired it with this merino blend men's sweater and this kind of ochre color. I love pairing these two pieces together. So when I saw this outfit, those are the first two. Uh, that's the combination that I saw and was like, I absolutely need to try and style this outfit. Uh, I have my black booties on from Mark Fisher. Bought these uh, on dsw.com and I have added my ferro bag from Cezanne. Uh, this is in the coffee color and that's my brown bag clashing with the the black boots and belt and I like it. I think it has a bit of a 70s vibe to it which is right up my alley. Uh, I kept the same silver hoops in uh, just to play off of the silver in the belt buckle and yeah this again I said we have had a mild winter so I don't know if this would be warm enough to go out in. Um, I just don't have a coat that will accommodate both this blazer and this sweater. So I'm not going to show a coat probably in any of these outfits because I'm on the hunt. I'm still on the hunt for uh, a winter coat that has wider sleeves to accommodate my 
more chunky sweaters and layered styling. So this is outfit number two. You guys let me know what you think. Uh, how do you feel about clashing brown and black together accessories wise or just uh, individual clothing items in general? Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know. And we are going to head on to the last outfit. Yeah, we're going to take on the last outfit. I love this outfit. I love it so much. If you've been here for any amount of time, you know I like a good monochromatic look. And it's the easiest way to put an outfit together and looks so good and chic every single time. Navy, one of my favorite colors. have a lot of it in my closet. Uh, sorry. Sorry, we are uh, doing this... Uh, photo right here. Um, sorry, I was just so excited. Uh, similar pieces. No, I'm not wearing a turtleneck, but I mean, that doesn't really matter. She, I believe, is wearing a more curved purse. Again, I think it's preference. Uh, just depends on what you like to carry or what pieces you already have in your closet. Um, anyway, sorry. Let's, let's start from, from the top. So, this is a vintage cashmere sweater from Neiman Marcus. Um, this is a washable silk skirt from Quince. I'm obsessed with it. I want to wear it as often as I possibly can. And then I have these over-the-knee boots from Naturalizer. And just like with a good monochromatic look, I really, really like the way tall boots look under a maxi or midi skirt or dress. I'll never get enough of it. I think it's such a sophisticated look. Don't tell don't don't ask me why. It's just every time I see it, I want to do all all the inspo, all the outfits. Um, the purse is Kate Spade. Again, I kept in the same silver hoop earrings. I prefer silver jewelry. And I really like the way it looks um, with navy and blue. And yes, uh, again, uh, I can't really throw over any of my winter coats. One, it's just a little too toasty for the winter we have right now. And they don't accommodate my very large, chunky, cozy sweater. But yes, God, I love how this turned out. I was so happy when I found this picture. Um... I mean, it's simple, it's classic, it's classy, uh, in my humble opinion. And out of all three of them, I think this is definitely my favorite and one that I intend to wear over and over and over and over again. Uh, but you guys let me know which one was your favorite. Um, are you into, you know, the pops of color like the red? I know that red was the color of last year. I think it's going to continue being a very popular color going into 2024. And yeah, I really enjoyed doing this video. It uh, gets my, my styling juices going. Um, again, I want to thank all of you for your patience in uh, waiting for me to start posting again. December was just a rest month, basically. It was fantastic. It was full of friends and family, and I'm very happy that it went as well as it did, and I'm excited for the new year. Uh, you guys let me know what you're looking forward to this year. Did you have a great time during the holiday season? I really, really hope so. I've missed you guys so much. Um, again, just let me know what outfit was your favorite? And what videos would you like to see me do this year? Of course, all the styling, all the thrift hauls, well, occasionally. Um, and with that said, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you like styling videos, lookbooks, the occasional thrift haul, please consider subscribing. And as always, until next time, I look forward to seeing you. Take care.